What's up guys, Adam here with another home improvement video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit about and also showing you how to install one of these smart switches that is for a ceiling fan. And the reason we're gonna be doing this is so that you can take that already, for lack of better words, dumb fan and turning it into a smart fan. A lot of people are looking for a way to take a standard fan that does not have remote control and turning it into one that can be controlled with a remote control, which in this case would be your phone. Now this particular smart fan switch is made by Leviton and I will post a link down in the description below so you can check this out for yourself in case you want to pick one up. Now this particular switch does not require a hub, so I found that to be a bonus so you don't have to buy anything extra. It can be controlled with a smartphone and also maybe your Alexa device or smart home assistant. It can be integrated with IFTTT, which then opens up a whole nother door of things that you can do with this. Now with this particular device, you can also set up schedules to control the fan speed as well. And I believe through IFTTT, depending on where you are, it can also control when you are coming to the house, whether it turns on or at certain times, it'll turn on as well. All right, so now we've got our switch plate off here. And before we turn the power off going to these switches, which this is gonna be the one we're gonna be replacing for the fan, we need to find out which one of these wires is the line wire and which one is the load wire. And it's going to matter because on the new switch, each one has to go in a specific place. So we're gonna be looking for, using a multimeter, we're gonna be looking for which one of these wires is the line wire, which is gonna be the one that's bringing the electricity into this switch. All right, so our line wire is gonna be this top wire. So now that we know that, we can now go out to the main panel and turn off the circuit breaker that's bringing the power to these switches. All right, so now that the circuit breaker is off to these switches, we still need to use our multimeter again just to confirm that there's no power going to this light switch. All right, so you remember I said we need to figure out which one of these is our line and our load, and I said that this top one here was our line wire, which would be the power that's being brought in from the main panel. The load wire is what then, when you flip the switch, it makes the connection and then sends the electricity to the fan. So what I like to do is once I've located my line wire, in order to tell the difference between these two black wires, so they don't get mixed up, is typically I just take a piece of electrical tape and I put it around my line wire. So then that way, I don't get them mixed up when I go to put them into the new switch. And of course, over here on the left side of the switch where this green screw is, this bare copper wire, that is of course the ground wire. And we're gonna need to use that as well. Now, this particular smart fan switch requires a neutral wire. And as you can see, which is pretty standard on light switches, there's no white wire attached to it. You just got your two hots here and your ground wire. Most of the time, your white neutral wire is gonna be tucked back in the back of the box, which they are back there, and I'll pull them out in just a little bit. And you'll just need to pull that out so then we can attach the neutral wire for the new switch into the bundle of neutral wires that's in the back of the box. All right, so now we can go ahead and remove all the wires from the switch currently in there. So here is the back of the new switch. And as you can see, we're just going to be connecting these old wires to the new wires. There's no screws on the side of this. So we're gonna have to use wire nuts to connect these wires to the new wires. So we do not need these curls that we've currently got on the wires. So what I usually just do is I usually just use needle nose pliers to just flatten those out. All right, so now that we've got these all flattened out, we can go ahead and start connecting our wires in the wall to the wires on the back of the switch. And you'll see the wires on the back of the switch. They have insulation still on them, but they're already pre-cut. But when you get to the wire that you want to work on, you just pull that insulation off and then 
we'll wire nut them to the proper wires in the walls. Let's just go ahead and start with our green ground wire, and that's going to go to that bare copper wire that was already in the wall. So you just want to start by twisting it onto the wire, then you'll take a wire nut, put it on top, screw it together. Alright, so here is our group of white neutral wires, and all we're going to need to do is we're just going to take this white neutral wire from the switch, we'll remove the wire nut from the bundle of neutral wires, and then we'll just twist that on with the bundle and reattach the original wire nut. All right, so next let's go ahead and work on our line wire, which if you remember, we marked with our electrical tape. So we'll go ahead and remove the insulation from that and put our wire nut on there. All right, so the next wire we're going to work on is going to be this red wire. This red wire is the load wire, and this is what is then going to take the electricity from the switch then to the fan. So we want to use the black wire that we did not put the tape on, and that is our load wire. Here is a yellow and red wire. This is a traveler wire. And this would only be used on a three-way switch, which this is not a three-way switch, but if you did have a three-way switch, you would have a traveler wire coming from the other three-way switch in the room. And you would then just connect the wire coming from the three-way switch, the traveler wire, and then connect it the same way we did with these, you'd connect it to this wire. But since we don't have a, a traveler wire in this one, we'll just go ahead and take that off and then put a wire nut on top of it. All right, so now everything is connected so we can put everything back in its place and screw these light switches back into the box. All right, so now that all of this is connected and screwed back in, let's go ahead and turn on the power and test it out. All right, so now as you can see, there's this green light that's flashing and what that's trying to tell us is it's trying to connect to Wi-Fi, which we haven't set that up yet. I'll do that a little bit later. I just want to go over the features, the manual features of this switch first, which are pretty easy to understand. Of course, you've got this rocker switch, which this is just a sticker. This will come off. This is just a rocker switch. If you push it on, the fan comes on, which it is working. And of course, if you push on the bottom part, it turns it back off. Now, this over here is also a rocker, and this controls the fan speed. And if you see these lights over here on the left, these are telling you what fan speed it's set on. So we've got it down here now to the minimum, but we can put it at four different speeds. All the way to the top is full speed. All right, so now that I've shown you all the physical features of this smart fan switch, now you can go and download the My Leviton app. Once you've downloaded the app, that is where you're gonna then be able to set everything up from connecting this switch to Wi-Fi and then also connecting the app and your phone to this switch so that you can control it from anywhere. All the instructions are very easy to understand. It'll walk you through step by step. And once you've got everything set up, you can then customize things the way that you like it. Everything is very self-explanatory, very easy to use. And now you are well on your way to just being able to be lazy and not have to get up anymore to turn on and adjust your fan. Alexa, turn on the fan. Okay. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all there is to installing this smart fan switch. So again, I'll also be posting a link down in the description below. If you like this particular switch, you can go check it out and pick one up for yourself. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful and informative for you. If you did, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section down below and also giving the video a thumbs up. And if you like how to's and do it yourself type videos for around your house, we upload a video on a weekly basis that is really focused around new projects and also showing money saving techniques for repairs and maintenance for around your house. So consider hitting that red subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next video.